क्लास नाइन्थ टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग द चैप्टर ऑफ द फिजिक्स दैट इज मोशन चैप्टर नंबर एट ऑफ द टेक्स्ट बुक एंड चैप्टर नंबर फर्स्ट कंसिडर्ड इज अ फिजिक्स चैप्टर ओके तो एज वी नो द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज मोशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू डिस्कस वॉट इज मोशन मोशन अकर्स when an object changes its position with time we have also discussed earlier that when an object changes its position with respect to the surroundings then such object is said to be in motion that means when a body covers equal distance in a equal interval of time okay kids when a body covers equal distance in a equal interval of time it is moving with the uniform motion that means we have a two type of motion that is uniform and non uniform while if we can say that ki what is uniform motion so we can say equal distance in a equal interval of time in the same way if we want to discuss non uniform motion that means when a body covers an equal distance in equal interval of time we can say that it is moving with the non uniform motion <laughs> so before going uh, to the chapter we need to discuss some important important term related to the chapter motion the most important term we have to discuss is distance and displacement both distance and time are important in describing the motion sometimes you know motion has occurred even if we don't see it happen that means if we observe that we are in rest but we can say that at the same time we are in motion this condition we have discussed in the class that rest and motion are related terms that means motion and rest are related to each other that means if we can say that the body is moving then at the same time it is also in motion it is also in rest while if an object is in rest at the same times it is also in motion when two objects are moving in a same plane and we are going to observe the motion or we are going to observe the both of the both the of motion of the both of the object then such type of motion is known as relative motion when two objects are moving in a plane okay either in a same direction or in a opposite direction each have relative motion with respect to the second example for example a person sitting in a train and watching a tree in this case tree is stable but it is assumed to be moving but with respect to the train that means we are observing that while if we are sitting in a train and watching a tree it is observed or it is assumed that tree is also moving but actually it is in a stable condition then such type of motion is known as relative motion now we have to discuss two important terms that is distance and displacement first we have to discuss distance then we are going to discuss displacement distance means how far an object has moved that means the total path covered by an object okay the total path covered by an object is known as distance it is a scalar quantity because it has only magnitude without direction now we got two important terms one is scalar okay and another one is vector in physics we have two types of quant physical quantities one is scalar and one is vector if the physical quantity contains only magnitude magnitude means only value for example 10 km 2 second 5 meter only value but it doesn't have any direction then such type of physical quantity is known as scalar quantity while those physical quantity which have both magnitude as well as direction then such physical quantity is known as vector so 
if we want to discuss that which type of a physical quantity distance is then we can say distance has only magnitude without direction which means it is a scalar quantity in case of displacement we can say how far and in what direction that means how far that means distance is also there and and it in what direction that means in this case we have both magnitude as well as direction which indicates us that the displacement is a vector quantity so we are discussing how far and in what direction an object has moved from its start position that is the distance between the initial and final position of an object or we can say the shortest straight path between the initial and final position of the object is known as displacement and because displacement has both magnitude as well as direction so it is a vector quantity now the third physical quantity we need to discuss in this chapter is speed so speed is the distance of an object travel in a given amount of time or we can say the distance covered by an object in a given time is known as speed so the formula of the speed is speed is equals to distance upon time that means we are going to measure distance and we are going to measure time that means distance is measured in meter while the time is measured in second so the formula of the speed is meter per second now we need to discuss the types of speeds okay the type of speeds <coughs> constant speed that means speed doesn't change changing speeds that means riding a bike from 5 km for 5 km take off and increase the speed comma slow down uphill speed up downhill stop for stop sign the trip took you 15 minutes 0.25 hour which means we have two types of speed that means constant speed and changing speed we can say that it is a we can say it is a uniform speed which means speed doesn't changes with respect to the time or it is changes in speed changing speed which means non uniform speed okay in both the cases the unit of speed is meter per second 